the rabbit hole right in the capital. Yeah. <laughs> Are you the 11th? Yeah. That was your job. Yeah. Before 2010, every September 11th, we would be here when they were saying we got both in our own right. and we would stand yeah. up. Vermont and, of course, New York. And we've brought along some heavy artillery. Jimmy I'm here today basically to apologize. Uh, so I, I don't really want to talk to you guys. I want to talk to them. I want to apologize to all the men and women, the first responders, that you had to come down here today. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed for our country. I'm embarrassed for New York. I'm embarrassed that, that you, after serving so selflessly with such heroism, have to come down here and convince people to do what's right for the illnesses and difficulties that you suffered because of your heroism and because of your selflessness. Along with our House partners, Congressman Jerry Nadler. Today, on the Hill, you will be exposed to possibly toxic levels of bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> and arrogance. You're strong men and women, but these are conditions you may never have faced before. So buckle your seatbelts and let's get this done. My feeling is uh, if you have stage four cancer and you get a letter of notification saying that uh, the medicine that you rely on may be ending in a year, that to me is an urgent care situation. But again, I can't stress this enough. Why is it incumbent upon our first responders to have to uh, consistently push to get the benefits that are coming to them purely for their acts of valor in a wartime situation? This is insanity. And we can drill down into the bureaucratic details of the expiration is a month from now and it's actually a five-year bill. These illnesses that they have are not on five-year cycles. They're permanent illnesses causing permanent damage.